Hey guys, I'm Kevin. And this is Devin. And this is going to be game two of yeah. UFCP against game two. George Mason. It's listed as game one, but this is game two. Yeah, we're, we're kind of going out of order. Brood War for life, yo. Giving out the Brood War shout out. Store Zerg apparently played a lot of Brood War. All right, yeah, so we have Store Zerg, the Protoss player. Makes perfect sense. Store, representing Store George Protoss. Me. <laughs> Wait, would that be too long? I get. I don't know. Spanishiwa manages to <laughs> Store so. toss. Store toss. Anyway. Does the Sp Spanishiwa actually shorten into Spanishwa? Spanishwa. Well, only when he adds vile. Oh, so he's true. vile Spanishwa. Yeah, Sword Zerg, Green, Protoss for George Mason. Down here we have Kimji, the purple Terran for sort of UMCP. Pinkish purple, yep. So we have a uh, TVP. Pretty nice matchup. Um. Pretty nice match. Anyway, and in this map we have uh, MLG Test Bug, uh, fairly well known map because it's one of those few uh, three player spawn maps. Uh, but it's sort of fallen out of uh, pro pro play at this point because if you see down in the mini map, you know they've spawned near each other, but the entire green part of the map won't come into play unless this game goes into super long uh, time. So it's really half the size of the map than you want it to be, and that's sort of an interesting point about this map is that it's actually a lot smaller when you play uh, 1v1. Yeah, and um, the naturals are fairly easy to take, and the um, other interesting features are that there are small pebbles at the natural where, which denotes the range of the Zelnagas, which are in fact blocked by rocks as well. Yep. And if we look at the, um, the gold expansions, those are also blocked by rocks. They're blocked by rocks uh, at the end here, so you can in fact land a base here and uh, destroy these rocks afterwards. Yep, but you can't mine. Nope, can't, cannot mine. Okay, so standard builds coming from... Uh, one in gas. One in gas. One in gas for stores are getting a little bit supply blocked. Or maybe not, maybe this will time out perfectly. Yep, that times out well. Never mind, he's not supply <laughs> blocked. Anyway, both players just now getting to their opponent's base. Uh, everything looking standard so far. We have a marine out. No gas taken yet, so it looks like some sort of fast expand build. Yeah, and that, that would be pretty viable on this map, because Natural yep. has one okay, okay um, size choke. Yep. And it looks like he is going to go go ahead and do that one racks into expand. Yep. No more Marines coming out yet, just really wanted to get down that expansion quite quickly. Meanwhile, over in the Protoss base, we have the Psycore going down a little bit late on the Psycore, and uh, no units coming out of the gateway so far. But, uh, oh, he's going yeah. for also going for that fast expansion. Very right. interesting. So we will be seeing a pretty macro game right here. Yep. Uh, one bunker going down, Marine's gonna fend off that scout probe. Yeah, he's getting the bunker, but what he doesn't know is that there's absolutely no units coming out for Storzer right now. He doesn't even have his Psycore down. Yeah, and being that both players are masters, small differences like these could make a big difference. There he goes, chronoing that, chronoing that Stalker. Good thing he's gonna get that out quickly, try and use it for some scouting, but the SCV is gonna come in here, see everything. Yep, nothing too out of the, nor out of the ordinary to see here, though. Yep, so far everything pretty standard. Just a normal fast expand build. You lack any units whenever you go for this sort of build. So that's yep. why Store Zerg only with one Stalker. Looks like he's a bit supply block, too, again. Again, this. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Nothing coming out yet, but yeah. there he goes. So anyway, over here we have a uh, orbital command morphing in. Everything very standard from both players. Both gas is already down for Kimji. Yeah, wondering what he could switch into. Well, here comes the factory. It looks like a sort of a uh, fast expand one one type of build. Maybe going for well, obviously going for siege tanks at this point. I mean. Well, I mean, he could directly go for drops. Wow, fast third. Really from fast third. Storzerg. Yeah, this is this is really risky. He's not even mining from his natural yet, and he's already throwing down a third expansion. Yeah, and if Kimchi doesn't scout this out later on, this could really hurt him in the long run. Yeah, and this this sort of brings us what I was saying is that you know the map becomes a lot smaller when you're playing you know one side to the other side. You know you only have this much space, and because of that, he may not actually go up and try and scout this area. He probably won't expect his uh, opponent to be throwing down a really fast third. Yeah, that's true. When you bring up a good, po a good point, when you're playing like uh, one on one on this map, which is pretty much the only thing. And we have a little lag here. <laughs> you might forget about that last um, edge of the map. Yep. That could play a pretty pivotal role. 
Anyway, so throwing down Kimji, throwing down a bunch more barracks, gonna get that marine count high. Has the tech lab for them siege tanks. Very nice play, but a robo going down, and a third gateway going down for Storzer. The robo will come in handy, you know, getting those immortals out to counter those siege tanks. Yep, it's a very good choice. Uh, no aggression from both players right now, just macroing up. But I mean, okay, right. Uh, scout coming out for Kimji. That's not gonna get too much. Ooh, Failed force field. So that close. Scout. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna get in here. It's gonna see the robo. Yeah, that could be critical information. Yep. And it sees goes down. both gateways. Oh, it's still not down. Wow. Very nice. This scout. is a very, very strong SCV. He wants to live. Yeah. Anyway, first tank finally out for Kimji. Mm -hmm. And this uh, third base now finished for Storzer. Not mining from it yet. Very well, I mean, choice. if you get if you if you get this many expansions this early in the game, you probably don't even have enough workers to saturate all of them. Yep. So lots of reactor racks now. Getting combat shields instead of stim pack. Uh, it's very interesting. Stim pack, you know, typically seen as a very offensive play, while yep. combat shields more of a defensive play. Um, yeah, getting those some friends online. The extra ten health will really help them make. Oh, whoops. Really <laughs> help make them a little more resilient. Yep. Uh, it's very interesting. Maybe if he, he doesn't have any medevacs out, he doesn't really want to be wasting that uh, that health. Here comes the pros now to finally start mining at this third. Yeah, this could start to be problematic as Kimji has... He hasn't really scouted any indication of a possible third. Yep. He, he thinks he's playing two base to two base right now. Meanwhile, Immortal's already out. Four stores are... That's rough, because, you know, going marine tank, you, you can use those marines to try and focus down those immortals, but with good micro, you know, stalkers can clear up just about Yeah, everything. then it really comes down to the micro. Oops. What did I do? I'm sorry. <laughs> Refinery's not going down. Looks like a push coming out. Uh, at the same time, an observer just now getting in here sees everything. Yep, sees his entire tech path, which is probably going to be reviewed. Actually pulled off a good eight number SCVs. of eight SCVs. Wow. And but where's he going? He's pushing out, it looks like. Yeah. He might... Well, he's going to go for the Zelnographers. Meanwhile, with Colossus coming out for Storzerg, as well as range, this is rough. Yeah, and I'd like to know that Kimji doesn't even have a starport yet, either. He scans, he sees everything. Yep. He actually could have a little timing window here to knock knock Storzerg's army down, because since he did commit to this expansion early on, he does have less units than he normally would. He's getting this, these bunkers down. Looks like he's Four gonna be, bunkers. He's going for really a aggressive. contain. Oh, but the first Colossus Ooh. is out. This could be really game-changing. Burns these force fields. Nice, nicely done by Kimji pulling back, but he is supply blocked right now. And we're still looking at 0-0 zero, zero upgrades for both players, right? Yep. Yeah, so that one Colossus and Micro Well could do a lot of damage. Lot yep. of splash damage on him. And another Colossus coming out and range. Yeah. Starport now going down for Kimji. Finally. I feel like this is probably overdoing a little bit. Four bunkers? Yeah, he, he definitely wants to keep this contain solid. I think, but, you know, contain doesn't work if he already has a base yeah. up. This is rough. This is really bad. I don't know what he's going to do about it. You know, these th these units are happy to stay in here, and he's chronoing double yeah, upgrades. Yeah, and one thing you would want to do in PvT as a Protoss is actually going for the going for a double forge upgrade. Because if you're Protoss, you have the chrono boost, and if you... Are able to chrono those upgrades out much faster than the Terran, you will actually be able to gain a significant advantage. Nice, nice, nicely done, nice sieged up tanks. Still adding bunkers. Yep. Looks like that's the fifth one. And Ooh. oh using that range. Yeah. Tanks find a really good wow. position. No, I mean the, the Colossus. Takes Colossus. out both of those yeah. tanks. The Colossus rough. finds a really good position to snipe yep. those. And yeah, um, Kimji is probably feeling comfortable right now, knowing that he probably has a surround. But oh, looks like Storzer is warping in units up yeah, his third. He could be going for a, t a flank. Yeah. That would be really effective. Yeah, these Colossus are just going to do so much to these Marines, and no medevacs here yet. Only no two Vikings tanks left. Either. Yeah. No Vikings for the reactor starport just now finishing. And what, what has he chosen to get? Two Vikings coming out of this starport. Yeah, but in, in a crunch, in a situation like this when it's really crunch time, you would actually see some people opt to just throw down maybe three starports to get get the Vikings out faster. I think, yep, he sees yeah, it. Yeah, he, he just got the well, expansion. Uh, oh man, Colossus are starting to do work. Yeah. They had the range upgrade, right? Yeah. Uh, yep, they got so range the early. With the tank lines and the range of 14, they'll still be able to shell a 14? little bit. 13. Uh, Close enough. <laughs> Immortals now uh, being mass-produced uh, from stores or Templar Archives going down, getting a lot of tech up. He knows he has that base advantage. 
and uh, Kimji has seen it. Uh, he's chosen not to do anything about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not choosing to take that out. Scanning it again. But the problem is, if he does send part of his army to take out um, Sorcerer's Third, he leaves um, this tank line and bunker line very vulnerable. Yep, and he knows that. I think he's actually managed to contain himself with this play. But here yeah. he goes, pushing a little bit forward with these Vikings. All but these zealots running forward. Yeah, but two Vikings aren't going to be nearly enough to take out this many clubs. Oh, but and sandwiching yeah, with the, the units in the back. is coming. Wow, and he's going to clean this up. These tanks ha can't decide which way to fire. Probably splashing the Marines as well. Yep. And Kimji's entire force gets decimated. Yeah, he just got annihilated here. He's down a total of like 50 food at this point. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how, um, how Kimji can come back from it. He is expanding, but I'm not sure if he can secure that trying to get this means. expansion but yeah there's no real way to defend it he's just got his army annihilated and now there's templar in the field storm being researched two colossus being made at once as well as two two upgrades he's just now starting a uh, plus one for his weapons as well as concussive shells and that is my cell phone <laughs> we're not very good casters we like to keep everything ready to go completely wrong as soon as we can indeed and it looks like Wow. He's take double, double expanding, expanding behind that. He's going to have five bases if both of those finish at this point. Meanwhile, Kimji's still on two. Doesn't really know what to do with this third base he's just built. Yeah, he knows he is vastly behind, so he is probably forced to... He pretty much has two options right now, to out macro Sorzer, which is probably not going to happen, or just go all in. Stores are getting three more gates down. Going to have a total of seven gateways up. Has another observer here. Or maybe that's the same observer. He did have an observer here at some point, but I guess it might have gotten sniped. Uh, stores are doing a good job managing those expansions, coming in here, making sure there's not a third there. At the same time, man, these expansions are just going to go completely unnoticed. Yeah, and looks like um, Kimji's trying to get third, maybe he's going drop, to drop to try to try to even things a bit. But yep. Will he be able to spot the fourth expansion? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably flies right by. Oops. Yeah, flew right by it, didn't yeah. see anything. Oops. So these these units doing a great job being mobile, going around, making sure that uh, things are, yeah, that Kimji's not expanding, but a great drop timing here. He saw the army on the other side of the map. Yeah. Only dropping three Marines. Forcing his entire army back, too. Sending the rest into the natural, maybe? This entire army is coming back. He doesn't have much time here. Yeah. Zealot's coming in now. Gets the pylon, but you know, stores are still at over 200, so this medevac not really gonna do much else. Didn't yeah, do enough damage. He's really there. just fighting to stay alive in this game right now. Yep, it was a 180 supply to 130 now. Still a huge 50 supply lead as well as a huge upgrade lead. Yeah, level three weapons and armor coming out. Yeah, well, this level is what I was saying. Just how potent double forge upgrades are with yeah. the chrono. This you can insane. get out incredibly fast and just have way more upgrades than a Terran player can. Storzerg, meanwhile, sees sees the Viking count, just gets to sit here and watch it happen. And look at this, we have three bunkers coming down. Not sure what that's going to be able to accomplish though with the. Uh, Almost maxed out death ball that Sorzerg is starting to get. Also, this is some very weird placement, as if he's trying to defend either the gold or this uh, third back here. When in reality, he's leaving this area very open. Uh, even this observer here can spot that. Yeah, that's true. But maybe, maybe Kimchi's opting to defend both of them. And he actually sees everything. Sorzerg has an observer here. He has an observer here. He sees, and he has this Zelnaga watchtower, and he sees everything that's going on over yeah. here. So he probably knows that the moment Kimji throws down the expansions will be the perfect time to push. Yep. Just and working it's in like, tons of units at a time. Dark Shrine going down now. Yeah. But I mean, why not? You have five bases. You can pretty much go down every single tech pack. Cannons everywhere. This is an incredible. He's just completely out macroing Kimji at this point. Yeah, it looks like Stormzerg might be going for a... Might be waiting for the 3-3 upgrades to actually push in. That would be absolutely deadly. And tons of mules now landing. This is insane. Yeah. This is this gold base that um, Kimji just got is probably going to be his only hope. At the same time, you know, Storzerg is maxed and he's not deciding to move out yet. And Terran is still researching those uh, upgrades. But, you know, Storzerg getting Blink now, getting Gravitic Drive. That is the Observer uh, speed. And the Warp Prism now is... Uh, he's getting more Warp Prisms. Or maybe that's Warp Prism speed. Yeah. Oh, that's Warp, warp Prism. prism. He's getting Warp Prism speed now. Alright, so that could be maybe for some drop harass or even just lifting up the High Templar to prevent. Yep. 
maybe EMPs, but Kimji doesn't even have ghosts, does he? Probably not. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I haven't seen any ghosts on the field. You know, still getting marine tank Viking. Yeah, might. Yeah, maybe might be over the two Vikings. Yeah, at this point, you know, there's a lot of Marines on the field, and yeah, you're right. Definitely getting yeah. whoa, a bunch of Vikings. Swords already are already getting Vikings. his sixth expansion, and we're pretty much just waiting for a huge engagement. To yeah, decide this is which whoa, wins. whoa. Swords falling on mules and SCVs, taking out almost all of them. And this was like all of his SCV count. You know, he's he was near 80, and now he's down to 52. Wow, a good 14 workers killed from that. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Anyway, now. Swords are still not moving now. Wonder what he would be waiting for. Yeah, he's actually letting his opponent back into this. He's already at 180 supply. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what he's thinking, you know. You know, Kimji's just going to keep expanding. The only thing uh, Stores are really has is that upgrade advantage. And he had, well, he d also has a lot of money pulled. So he'll be able to do essentially something like a 300 food push. Yep. Hey. He needs more gateways down though if he wants to do anything like that. Starting to research shields. Oh yep. my goodness. How often do you see that? Late game. Yeah, yeah, not too often. Anyway, Archon's now even being morphed in for Storzer. Yeah. This is a little incredible. All these Vikings now going to maybe do some scouting. Ooh, but blinked onto. He's gonna like try to and run away from those. That, yeah, I think he should have stayed, you know, this yeah. Colossus has, you know, ten health. I think he could have easily taken that down. Ghost Academy finally about to finish. Yep. Looks like the engagement is finally going to happen. And, Whoa. oh, this bio is just going to be absolutely this, decimated. This, this bio can get absolutely mauled. Yeah. And the storms getting the Vikings and the, the bio Perfect ball. storms. This DT army is even just, coming in. This army is just marching in to start taking everything down. These bunkers and tanks still here, though. These tanks can do a lot of damage. They're in the back. There is no sandwich this time. Yeah, and Kimji doesn't even have anything to counter the HTs or even the Archons. Yeah, this is this is rough. He needs more ghosts out. Storming these tanks. Because he can. <laughs> because he can. Now running around to come up to this base, but... Sure, it's a planetary, but I'm not sure if Kimji will, will be able to hold it. And wow, nine High Templar. Yeah, it just warps all of those in at the same time. Nine more gateways being built at the same time. That's a little intense. But yeah, uh, but... Not repairing this. Oh! Ooh, and it goes down. Oh, man. Stores yeah. are only at 150 to 125 now. It's 25 food lead, but at the same time, he has 11 gates going down, two stargates, and plus one shields now even being researched. Yeah, but wow. I holy gateway. I think I found his gateways. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. 12 gateways here. Over here, we have two stargates. That's a little... That's insane. <laughs> and wow, it looks and like Kim, he's actually pushing forward. Yep, he's getting out. He's, you know, he held off that push, but Storzer can just re-max. Really, really quickly. Yeah, he's got a lot of gateways. He has 8 there, 9, 10, 11, with 12 more in his uh, main over here. Oh, wow. How many probes does Storzer actually have? It's 79 probes 79. to 39 SCVs. You know, Kimji just keeps losing SCVs yeah. in these engagements, and it's not, it's not going very well. And he's pretty much just left on one mining base. That is not going to be well. There's nothing mining here. Is he going to drop here? He's just now seeing that there's a base here. Not looks paying like, attention to the drop. Yeah, it looks like he's deciding not to. Ooh, and he's running he into these. the tank. Into the cannon. Ooh, wow. that's rough. Very, very bad choice. Yeah, not doing very well at all. We have a fleet beacon going down as well as two more stargates. Or no, a cybernetic score. Did he lose his sidebar? No. It's probably just... A Double backup? upgrades, maybe. Oh, that's true. Because, you know, upgrades. getting lots of Stargates, you do want to get those upgrades. Wow, I'm surprised that Kimchi is still in the game, though. Yeah, this is this is insane, you know. Storzer has tons of units, tons of upgrades. And Seven expansion not to... going down. Yep. Wow. It's pretty much taking every expansion on his on this map. So much for the map being cut in half. And yeah. Everyone. I mean, he's just going everywhere. He's going all out. Finally transferring some probes. Wow. There's nothing much to say. Oh, Terran finally getting 3-3 three, three upgrades. You know, if Storzer keeps letting him slowly come back like this, bad things could happen. Yep. And looks like this drop is going to finally go to a right position and start taking drop. out of these... There he um, goes. Taking out of these production facilities. Gets a pile on. Yep. Now he's going to focus down this Nexus. Stim 2-2 two, two Marauders actually take down buildings surprisingly quickly, but... The with entire it, army coming back. Yeah. His max army 3-1-3 three, three upgrades. Look at that, he loses it, and everything just leaves. Lost that Nexus. He has six oh, more man. to back it up, as well as three more on the way. Yeah, Swords are actually grabbing two more expansions. 
Where? Oh, down here. Yeah, so that makes it a grand total of nine. Jeez, that is crazy. So yeah, the entire army now pulled back here. You know, this is, could be a great chance for Kimji to try and just walk into the main. Yeah, it's really snipe some tech tech structures. See, he's long distance mining from up here still. Wow. But yeah, Sorcerer is playing very cautiously. He doesn't want to really overcommit. Though I'm not sure if he's being too cautious. Might be letting Kimji have more of a chance than he probably should have. Yeah, this is this is rough. I mean, Storzer needs to be walking in here and just trouncing all of these units. Yeah, even trading armies would go in his own favor. He's doing a good job no longer making Colossus. Hey, how's it going? Hey, we're back and yeah, Fraps decided to die and then Sarkar was like, oh, if you can die, then I will die too. Fraps, so yeah. everything just died. Everything just straight up crashed. Anyway, <laughs> we have, are around the time where we think the game decided to stop. Carriers coming out for Storzer, a drop coming in the main, but getting cleaned up by these DTs. Oh, or man. Kimji. Looks like this army just now moving down. Yeah, and I believe those are the 8th and ninth expansions for Storzer. Yep, so he these, is just these rolling now, money right now. He's now just finishing. Yeah. Here he goes, just pushing in. Wow, just gonna get this uh, orbital, it looks like. Easily. And all of these units now coming back, and these tanks, you know, they're very immobile, just now on sieging, coming on down. Yeah. He's and gonna get up this ramp. Kimji has so many Vikings, he's not really gonna be able to do anything. Yep. He needs to land those at this point. <laughs> and wow, yeah. Makes Storzer, a force field yeah. and then destroys it by himself. Yep. I hate it when that happens though. Whenever I use Archons. Yep. And yeah, and oh my god, he actually traps in Kimji's entire army out. And he's just yep. making havoc in here, taking out all the tech buildings, all the production buildings. Oh wait, is he gonna get 3-3? Three, three? Yeah, he yeah. got he got 3-3. Three, three. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if these can get out there alive. And carriers, uh, Gravitic, Graviton Catapult, as well as Air Weapons 1 coming out. I mean, at this point, it's just slaughter fest. Yeah. Oh, he just lost his entire main and most of his production facility. He manages to save six barracks. Still fighting, though. Dodge oh, is storm, storm. storming his own zealots. It seems kind of BM at this point, you know, he's just like, I'm so far ahead, I can storm my own units. Was that on purpose though? Uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. This DT is doing damage. Yeah, these wow. are DTs. Five kills on that? So the entire army comes back and still loses out to just about everything. Oh, Protoss yeah. Shields 3 just now starting. Carriers coming out. All these barracks trying to run. GG from Kimji. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I felt like Kimji was pretty, should have had GG a while ago, but Sorcerer gave him a little too many. Advan well, not advantages, but just not pushing when you yeah, could have been was sort of like game. almost letting him back into it uh, at several points, but I mean with nine bases up, it's hard to lose at that point. Yeah, you know, he had... Hard to justify not pushing with a maxed army. Let's count all the gateways. It's that fine. take a while. There, there's a bunch here, and there's a bunch, uh, and even some unmorphed ones in here. Yeah. Full more? control group. Yeah, full 24 gateways. Jeez. Any more over here? No, this is his dark shrine. Nothing over here. But yeah, so 24 gateways. Three of them not morphed into warp gates. Yeah, hasn't That's, even revealed the carriers yet. Yeah, with tons of carriers on the way. That's, yeah, it was a bit over the top from Storz at this point. Yeah. And so yeah, that would be game two of... Uh, UMCP against George Mason. George Mason is up 2-0 in this series. Stay tuned for game three.